think we should go and help? It sounds like Otto has everything under control. As always. one and the same as Benedicta Harmon's, then we've got a world of trouble waiting for us in Lost Wing. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes.
No sign of the royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Subtle. I don't even know what he looks like. The village can't be completely abandoned, can it? You miss me? I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? It's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're... with the Imperial Army. And we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? To the church, then. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. You weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. <sighs> I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him.
apart from the scouts. Not yet, my lady, but we have the dominant companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Care Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my thanks. To our lady of the wind. And the king! Ugh. <laughs> uh, the Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> What we have here, boys. An Imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Boo. got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Five! <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, 
Remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy oh, something is there. And she's gone. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <laughs> so, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. Thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. Well, this is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the bow, whose tamed worms a thousand and slain but tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the deep The skies over storm breaks for everybody leave And should the Revenge won't bring him back It won't His name will live Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch, and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave, then. This radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods, 
The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> Offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't. I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Clive. <laughs> Wake up. Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way... <sighs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No.